Hello, hello, this is author U.M. Hiram and welcome to week two of my YouTube videos. And this week, I'm gonna be doing some Ask the Author questions. I have a special guest that's going to help me um, with that process. And then also, I'm going to be reading the prologue to my book, Finally, that was published on April 4th of 2017. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and jump right on into it. And we'll start off with ask the questions. There's five questions that were submitted um, by you all to me to answer. So actually there were more than five questions, but we narrowed it down to the top five. And so I'm gonna go ahead and answer those questions for you. So, Brandon, who is my nephew, um, he's going to help me out here. So, he's going to read the questions off to me, and then I'll go ahead and proceed with an answer for each of them at that point. So, you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's get to it. Question number one. Okay. So, when did you first start writing? When did I first start writing? Um, well, my writing journey began at a very early age. I would say probably around middle school or so. I've always kept journals. So I would get a notebook and just write whatever my little thoughts were. And um, I would always write poems and the onset of some songs. And that just continued on as I um, grew up and got older. So, and to this day, I still keep journals and um, just, I love to write, so it started young. <laughs> okay. So question two. Yes. Who are your favorite authors? Who? now that's a loaded question. <laughs> I have so many authors that I love, um, but the four that I'm going to mention, um, I really love J.D. Mason. Um, I also love Connie Briscoe. And then there is Lynn Ray Harris. And um, one of my top favorites, um, she is deceased, but Jackie Collins is one of my um, all-time favorite authors as well. So, And there are so many other authors, and I've actually um, been introduced to some new authors and stuff, and it's just too many to name. But um, those four ladies are um, authors that I really, truly enjoy their writings. So question three, Okay. where do you get your ideas from? Whew. Where do I get my writing ideas from? Well, I think I'm no different than any other author. Just from everyday life, everyday occurrences, um, things I see, maybe some things I have experienced, um, things that people around me may have experienced, or just, you know, just mainly observing Um life, everyday life. So I think anything that you come into contact with or any people that you come into contact with, there are always some ideas that start churning in your mind, especially with a writer. So that's a true statement and having experienced it firsthand, I would say that just everyday life. Question four. Okay. What is your writing process like? My writing process. Um, well, I do, um, like I said, journals. So I do have notebooks that I, if I'm sketching out characters, I will go ahead and write down what, you know, visualize what they look like, um, be very descriptive with that. So um, whatever, whatever that male character may look like, whatever the female character, who their friends are, um, their background, the location of the book and stuff it's it's just a whole process you know and um i also use some writing software um and i've been introduced to a number of writing software but the one that i've actually probably um navigated towards the most is called novelize so for my recent um book that i'm working on Actually, I'm working on um, two books <laughs> right now, but I use that software along with just actually sitting down writing. And I do try to start from beginning to end, but there are some instances with my, um, I'll use finally as example. I started in the beginning, um, kind of knew where the ending was going to be, and then filled in the middle 
And then when I started, when I went back to actually go start doing my, you know, edits or what have you, then I would just smooth on and connect the dots from that point. So I think it just depends on the story and depend on where the characters tend to take you. So, and every writer has their different ways of writing and their processes. Okay. And question five. Okay. What does literary success look like to you? Wow. Okay. <laughs> what does literary success look like? to me personally i would like to um really become a well-respected um author in my genre and i'm actually writing romance um as far as from the novel perspective perspective i do have um an inspirational book so i don't want to be necessarily boxed into one category but i do want to be respected in my writings that I share with the world and the ultimate success for me would be to be blessed to end up on a New York Times bestselling list or on a USA Today uh, bestselling list. So to me, that's what liter literary success looks like. So and being able to just finish those books and just keep them going and have people to like them and enjoy them. So Awesome. So those were some great questions, you all. <laughs> so um, I do, um, I do want to answer future questions. So you know, we'll always keep it open where you can send questions on Facebook. You can email me through my website, or you can uh, DM me on Twitter, or even post a question on Twitter because I'm very active on social media. So. I do appreciate um, those questions, and I hope that you learned a little bit more about me through asking those um, top five questions. So what we'll do is move into the second part of the video, and I'm actually um, just going to read a snippet from the book. I'm going to read the prologue of Finally, and I'll go ahead and show you that book cover. Um, Oh, and before I get to that, thank you, Brandon, for your assistance. I appreciate that. He didn't want to be on camera, so um, eventually you all will get to see him and meet him. So, But right now, he kind of wanted to stay behind the scenes and stuff, So, <laughs> but I appreciate you. But um, moving on to finally, this is um, the book that was published on April 4th, 2017. And so I'm going to go ahead and read the prologue for you. And I hope that you will enjoy. So, prologue. Forgiving is not about forgetting. It is letting go of the hurt. And that quote was by Mary McLeod Bethune. As the rain lightly tapped against the bay window, Michelle sat down on her beige chase, wrapped up in her comfy lilac throw, sipping on a glass of her favorite Italian Moscato. Her mind wandered back to the previous evening she spent with Lance. Chiseled, sculpted, mocha-colored body with a six-pack out of this world, Lance was the perfect gentleman who showed extreme patience and persistence in finally breaking down the walls she encased herself in after being hurt by ex-fiance Michael. Michelle closed her eyes and could still feel the strong muscular arms enclosed around her average height athletic built frame. Lance gently stroked her hair and whispered, baby, you feel so good in my arms and I just want to keep you encircled here forever. I never want to let you go. Their eyes met lips touched gently, and then with pure hunger, Lance expertly immersed Michelle with unadulterated passion, letting her know it was finally okay to let go and be loved again, the right way in which she deserved and expected. Her vivid memories were not only of a night of pure passion, but sheer intimacy, something she had lacked by wasting four years of her life expecting Michael to change. Michelle waited patiently for him to become the man she knew he could be, but refused to try to become because of his selfishness and deceit. She finally freed herself from the long time drama and got the opportunity to meet someone who was deserving of her love wholeheartedly. 
She found the one who was willing to stick things out through thick and thin, not leaving her hanging to fend for herself. Lance had become her true knight in shining armor compared to the lying, manipulative person of her past. As her thoughts did a scan of the past year, she felt like she was on cloud nine due to her newfound happiness, finally. And once again, that was the prologue for my book, finally. It was released on April 4th of 2017. And it is available on Amazon in paperback as well as on Kindle. It's also available on Barnes & Noble in paperback and ebook form, as well as Kobo and iBooks. So um, I think that's about it for this second video. I want to thank you all for tuning in and encourage you to just share out the videos that I post on my YouTube channel and also ask people to subscribe. I plan to share more readings with you um, as well as information about myself as well as information about what um, projects I'm working on. So until next time, happy reading and happy writing. Bye.